I am standing in the beautiful Lansu Chinese Gardens in downtown Portland, and I'm here with Chuck, who is a designer from Old Town Florist, right? Yes. Now, every November is Mumvember here, and, yeah. and so we, there's a lot of floral stuff that happens that first week. Yes, um, there are wonderful floral uh, displays to be seen. Uh, they bring in lots of beautiful varieties of chrysanthemums. Uh, varieties that you don't normally see in uh, like a florist shop. Right, right. Uh, so it's really wonderful to come here and see uh, the different varieties. And one of the things you're going to be doing today is actually creating a, yeah. a, a display of them and a, a design for them. So we're going to let you take over and just tell me what you're doing and, and how you're going to come up with the design and what goes through your mind in creating stuff like this. Sure. Um, what I do is I start with a container and anybody at home, I'm sure that you have uh, bowls or containers uh, that come f with flowers already in them and uh, you're going to use them again. Today I'm using a low bowl, so I'm using a product uh, called Floral Foam. And what I've done is I've put some sticks inside, some red twig dogwood, so that it hides the mechanics. Right. Uh, which is going to be the foam. And to do that even more so, I'm going to take a Dracaena leaf because I wow. really don't want people to see that foam. So you're just wrapping the foam around those. Right. And, and then just it can be some fall foliage or uh, foliage out, out of the garden or foliage from your florist. Now, in my mind, from just watching what you're doing right now, it just seems like you're randomly sticking stuff in. I bet that's not true, though, it is It is not true. What I'm doing, because I've been doing this for a long time, I'm imagining that there's a, a point right in the middle of this arrangement, uh -huh. and it's called a binding point. And so all of my flowers are directed toward that. So when I'm thinking that, it's simple just to radiate the outward stems from outward from okay, there. Okay, that makes sense. And so what I did was I created a base of three right there. And then my tallest thing uh, usually is going to be a foliage or a stick. And so that's what I've done. I've created my give tallest you some element. Yes. OK, that yeah. makes sense too. So this, these are my parameters that I'm going to work around. And then when you're looking at design, mm -hmm. you know, a lot, in my mind, I always think of symmetry as being balanced. However, asymmetrical also has a type of balance, right? Right, it does. And a lot of my work is asymmetrical. And that's, that's kale, isn't it? Yes, it's kale. Wow. And it's wonderful uh, as a base. And this decorative kale is just absolutely beautiful. And before you start a design, do you think, do you, think of color, of texture, of all that stuff, like when we do landscaping. Is yes, that the same yeah, thing that's do? what I do. Uh, I think of color, because I'm thinking of autumn tones, and I'm thinking that this wonderful uh, lavender and purple is going to show up in some of the mums that I'm using, and so that's why I'm tying them in. And you have a lot, a collection of, of different types of mums. There's so many that you can yes. choose to use, and you really came up with a yeah. lot there. We have like pawpaws, we have uh, cactus or spider mums, and these wonderful standards. And as these open up, they'll unfurl and just look absolutely lovely. So Chuck, I'm gonna let you finish up this arrangement and then uh, we'll come back and check out the finished product. That sounds great. Okay, well, it is completed now, Chuck. And so one of the things that I noticed right off the bat is there's certainly flowers in here, but there's so many other things that you've added into it. Yes, what I've done for texture is I've used datura seed pods, poppy pods, uh, field grasses, uh, hypericum uh, for color, and I also used uh, small pumpkins yeah. for color. Uh, as a contrast. And I love marigolds. It was my grandmother's yeah. favorite flower. And you even had some late blooming ones yes. of those in there. Yeah, this is the last of the season. It's getting chilly. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep. And it's just a wonderful color in this arrangement. And it says fall. 
Yes, it, sh it certainly does. Now, now, Glenn, I'm here with you again, and so this is Mumvember. <laughs> right. So tell me about everything that's happening again this year. Well, Mumvember is our annual celebration of the chrysanthemum. Nice. And that's a very um, old Chinese flower that people now love all over the world. So each November, all month long, we have a potted chrysanthemum display. It consists of nearly 600 pots wow. that we've grown and over 130 different varieties. So maybe um, you've seen a few chrysanthemums in this display and at the grocery store, but there's a huge variety of colors and shapes and sizes. And that's um, our goal is to just kind of open people's eyes right. to the great variety that's out there. And then in this, the first week of this event, though, is when you have all of these floral designs happening, right? Right. So to kick off Mumvember, we have a floral design show. And each of our designers is going to use chrysanthemums in their arrangements, but each one will look different. So, Glenn, there's also a, another group involved in this floral stuff, too, isn't there? And, and things happening through the month. Yeah, we couldn't do this without our partners at the Floral Design Institute. Nice is a local company that does all sorts of floral classes for people and uh, they're going to be demonstrating doing floral demos all weekend long. People can come down and check out artists like Chuck doing arrangements that they can then do at home. But that's not just this weekend. You have stuff happening every weekend for Mumbimber. We do. So every Saturday and Sunday throughout the month at one o'clock, people can come down and see floral demos happening here at the garden. How wonderful. Well, you know, I have been to this event several times. I suspect I'm going to be at this one again this year because it is breathtaking to walk through the entire gardens and see all these wonderful floral designs out of a beautiful, beautiful flower. So for more information on this event, we can always invite you to go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over there and you can gather all that information and come celebrate the mum with us.